What's up, Fragrant World, and welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. We got a dedicated review for you for a fragrance that, at least at the time I'm shooting this video, is not released yet, but it is available for pre-order. And if you want to check it out, there will be a link down in the description from the indie house, Gallagher Fragrances. It's been a long time since I've talked about Gallagher. I did a video on a lot of his earlier works at least two years ago, probably longer. I'll link it up here if you want to check that out. It was a fun little first impressions video I did. But today we're talking about his latest release. I've missed a lot of the releases he's done over the past two years or so, but I'm really excited that he was gracious enough to send me a small bottle of his newest fragrance. And it's called Perfecto. Creative name. And you can probably guess what's in it, and it's also on the label, as with all the fragrances. One thing I love about Daniel's work is that he is, with time, slowly stepped up his presentation. Now, this is just the 30 milliliter size, which is still really nice. It's a stock bottle for the most part, but nice detailing on it. I love the label work. On the back here, it says, you know, Gallier Fragrances. And on the front, we have the logo with the name and without the reflection, you could see the notes. And on the inside, we got a nice little touch. You see the shamrock in there for his, uh, his Irish heritage. And I also love this, you know, little details, the cap and the atomizer, they're not just just run of the mill plastic. There's, there's an interesting feel to them. It's kind of hard to describe. There's almost like a rubberized feel to the atomizer and to the cap. Again, really nice touch. He's really stepped it up over the years to give more of a premium presentation. And I don't own any of the larger bottles, but I know some of them in the past have come in these really nice coffin style boxes. And he's really stepped it up, as I said. But like I said, this is the 30 milliliter size. Comes in this little box, real simple box, not too different from the label on the front of the bottle. But again, a nice feel to it, not just run of the mill paper or cardboard. It feels nice in the hand. Again, same as you see on the back of the bottle, size information and all that. Good stuff. Let's get into this fragrance here. This, this was not what I expected. When I first looked at the notes, I was like, okay, it's gonna be fruity and maybe tropical. That's kind of what I thought. And it is fruity and tropical, but there's a whole lot more going on here. I'm gonna put some in, in the air here, man. You're hit with a beautiful blast of melon and pear, of course, and a beautiful blend. There's a little bit of banana in there as well. So you have this kind of fruity trio coming at you. It does bring a very nice, juicy, tropical, fruity nature to the fragrance. But immediately there's some darkness in there. There's a woodiness. There's a driftwood note, and there's almost a bit of an an aqueous nature, almost like uh, near, you're near the ocean. This fragrance is kind of picturesque. When I smell it, I really kind of imagine I'm on a beach, like a tropical beach. It's not necessarily super sunny and happy and bright and, you know, vacation-like. I mean, it's nice, it's serene. It may be, it's a little cloudy. Maybe the waters aren't super calm. And again, I get this fruity, sweetness, it's juicy, it's in your face. There's some grapefruit in there, which keeps it from going off the rails in terms of sweetness. It has just the right amount of tart. And again, there's this woodiness, this dark kind of damp woodiness. There's also some patchouli in here, which adds this earthy nature as well. And the fragrance is made, I feel like it's held together by something you don't see a whole lot in fragrances. I don't know if you're gonna be able to read it. It says Champaka and that's in the heart of the fragrance. That holds everything together. It is a flower, and it adds a, a heady nature to it, a really, you don't, I'm not super familiar with the scent of Champaka, but it adds a headiness to it. It adds a, a thickness to it. I've never smelled anything like this. When I first sprayed it on, I put it on my hand, and I was like, whoa, this is different. And it took me some time you know, testing it this way to really come around to it. But it wasn't until I gave it a couple full wearings, which is what I always say now, you, that's how I really got a sense for what it smells like in the air, how it vibes with my energy and all that. And I love it. I love how different it is. I got some compliments with it. 
it's very uplifting again fruity and fresh and playful but it's also kind of mysterious i love the the woodiness and the earthiness that this fragrance brings when you smell it up close i will admit when you smell it up close it's going to be a little astringent the sweetness and the grapefruit especially when you get them up close there's it's almost like a like potpourri <laughs> that's kind of what i was reminded of the scent of potpourri or even like a shampoo or something like that not off-putting but just like very intense but when you let it again do its magic in the air that is when it opens up it's beautiful this is going to be a fantastic scent for the summertime i wouldn't call it like again your super happy beachy scent it does have those vibes but there's something else to it which i think actually makes it a little bit more versatile than just a beach fragrance now there are some other facets of the scent that i don't at least personally pick up there's apparently some tobacco there's some apricot there's some tea i don't really get all of that what i told you is what i get out of it i love this stuff it is different if you're looking for a different take on a fruity fragrance check this out it is available for pre-order right now it does officially release on may the 5th of 2020 so if you're seeing this video before that time you can pre-order it on the website for a slight discount it comes in two sizes there's a 30 milliliter and a hundred milliliter the hundred milliliter you can currently pre-order i think for 155 dollars but full price is going to be 195 so if you want to check it out at the full size you should act now and again the 30 milliliter size i'm checking here it comes in at $95 for pre-order, but full retail is gonna be $155. So again, you should act now if you wanna check it out. They also do come in a sample size. You can get a two milliliter size uh, for $599. That's a no brainer. So if you wanna sample it, link down below. I'm not getting any kind of kickback on this or anything. So it's just totally up to you. There, again, there will be a link down if you wanna check it out. I'm really enjoying this. I love how different it is. I love that Daniel's taking risks, doing something creative. That's what he does best. His work is always like that, kind of off the wall, out of left field, things you don't really expect to smell. Usually in a wearable way, some of his earlier works were maybe a little bit harder to wear, but I'm loving wearing Perfecto. That's my review of Daniel Gallagher's Perfecto. If you like the video, like the video. Really appreciate your support. And let me know down in the comments if you have tried this by the time you're seeing this video, let me know what you think. Or if you haven't tried it yet, let me know if you're interested, what you think about it based on what I've told you or what you've heard elsewhere. Let's talk about it. And if you haven't subscribed, would love to have you back in the next video. Let's go ahead and subscribe got nothing to lose. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.